the trend today um, is actually uh, it's a little bit more on the experience side if you're selling products already. Basically, I'm going to show you the easiest way to optimize your listing um, using Zonguru uh, tools. Um, there's, you know, we can, we can always overcomplicate things and, and I want to make sure we can keep it simple so you can really see the power of the tool and how it works. Um, and if you're obviously selling, this is going to help you a lot, but if you knew this information is gold, it's going to really help you think about when you're finding your product, how do you actually launch, how do you maximize your, uh, your optimization score to get the most traffic to your listing. And I'm going to show you a few tricks um, around that. So. Um, good to see all you guys jumping in there from around. Uh, we got Sydney, awesome, Australia, Brisbane. All right, a whole bunch of you guys in here. So um, that's what the training is going to be on today. Um, you know, it's uh, I just uh, I finished a, a case study with with um, Stefan, our CTO, um, and you know one of the things that's that was kind of an aha moment for me you know he's a he's a developer he's he's data focused um i've always said that that i think developers are probably some of the best candidates to create amazon businesses because they have all the right ingredients they understand data it's simple math to them how to how to use it they're very creative actually um and and come up with amazing products and and uh and and don't get too emotionally attached which is kind of cool and 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 they're very disciplined um, and discipline is a really key thing when it comes to Amazon because you have to be consistent. You have to do something every single day um, on your business and, and have systems in place that you keep optimizing, and keep bettering your business. So anyway, uh, you know, besides developers being great, I mean, you know, Stefan, our CTO, is, is an amazing Amazon seller as well. He's, he's a seven-figure seller. And I was doing a case study with him and, and kind of some of the things for me that really dropped his I realize I'm like, you know, sometimes I overcomplicate things in my head. And if I just use the tools as they're created, um, it's really simple. Um, and, and you can you can really uh, maximize your potential. Um, and ensuring that your listing is, is really well um, optimized before you actually launch uh, is really, really critical because you have those first two weeks where you want to launch. Amazon's going to give you traffic and you want to make sure you convert. Um, but if you're if you're uh, if you're not optimized, uh, you can still go in and optimize your listing. And and this case study we just did is, is literally taking a, a product from Flatline that's been in the business for a while, um, and then you know through PPC and listing optimization, uh, we got the sales going on the business again, and and it was really good to see um, and encouraging. So um, you know I, that's a lot of the stuff I've been touching on. Um, that case study is coming out pretty soon. Um, look out for that, guys. Uh, it's going to be a really good one, and and you get an over-the-shoulder uh, look from from Stefan, our CTO, who's who's brilliant, um, and and really understand how he looks at data. So um, look out for that. It's 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 coming out uh, probably in the next three weeks or so. So um, I encourage you when that comes out to follow that along. Um, all right, guys, we got everyone in here. Um, looks like we have a lot from Australia, a few from uh ireland england uh or kind of all over which is great um i'm going to jump in and start the session um all right let's see there's one other little uh, q a here let me just see uh all right got it okay guys let's jump in we're going to run for 40 minutes uh and uh we're going to leave some time for q a at the end so you can jump on talk to me about it um you can come on live if you if you see the, the speak and the hand up at some stage you can tap that um, and if you're, you're looking good for camera, you can come on. Uh, we can have a chat about anything you like. So I'm open to open to anything and everything, questions, what, what, whatever uh, about this or, or anything else. Uh, ha happy to jump in. So I'm going to present, go live, and share my screen, and we're going we're gonna to start the session. So let's go for it. All right, guys, someone let me know if they can see my screen. Um, you should be seeing the Zonguru homepage. I'll give it a second because there's a bit of a delay between this and uh, and you guys. But just let me know if you can see it loud and clear. And then we will start the session. Let's see. Let's see who's first here. Just let me know. Let me know. All right. Huh. A little bit of delay, but all good. Okay, great. 
All right, let's get this kicked off. So this is a, basically what I did is, is, is a couple of minutes just before the session, I jumped into our demo account. You can see it's our demo account up here. And I went into Keywords on Fire because um, this is where we want to start, right? Is, is if we're optimizing a listing, we've got to make sure we find the right keywords for the product. Um, and so I jumped in here and the first product that was here, someone in our team obviously ran it, a sneaker display. So um, I said, well, let's just do, let's do it on that. So no, not much more thinking in that. I just saw it was in here and, and I decided, let's pretend that we have a sneaker display product and let's actually look at how we can get the right keywords and maximize our listing. So um, the first thing I did actually um, is kind of like running the, the, the session. It said sneaker display, but when I looked a little bit more, sneaker organizer was also one of the keywords that I wanted to make sure we got in there. So I ran another session with that and we're going to jump into this, this session now. But one trick I want to show you is that when you are running a keywords on fire session, um, you see like most of them have 300 keywords. Now, these are what's important here is, is you know, we, we make sure that they're extremely relevant for the business. We don't give you a bunch of, excuse my French, crap in terms of keywords, which a lot of tools do, and just thousands and thousands of keywords. We make sure that they really are highly relevant um, and unique and, and, and specific for your, your product and your phrase that you search. One, you know, you can get 300, you can get 400, you can get 500 keywords. And, and one of the important things as a trick when you are running these is when you add by a product phrase, right? So let's just say I say um, sneaker display. Oops, spelling. Uh, sneaker display. Right, and I do a search. It's important, you know, these are, these are the top 25 listings. And what this tool is doing is it's doing a reverse lookup on these, whatever, um, you know, listings you add to this uh, search, as well as a, a, a keyword research uh, generated tool from actual searches from Amazon customers and a whole bunch of other data that we dedupe against the lookup. So you're getting the best, most powerful keywords from these actual competitors, plus keywords that, that Amazon customers are typing in. So. It's one of the most powerful ways. It is probably the most powerful tool out there that actually does these, these two in one steps uh, that no other tool really does it. But what I, what I do to make sure I get the most keywords is find listings that are seasoned that have been around for a while because they have the most keywords, you know, um, recognized by Amazon that we can actually get hold of. So, you know, when I pick them out, I, I pick 25, but I might pick, you know, 153. I'm going to, you know, 288 because they've got these high ratings. So they've been around for a while and they've got a lot of good keywords. So look for the ones, you know, like with two ratings, I'm not going to add this guy. I'm definitely going to add this guy, 1,800 ratings. So go through and pick the ones with the higher ratings. And, and you can go through and pick 10 here and that's a sneaker display. But remember, I can go add add products and then I can do, now I've only added four, right? Which which is no good. You, you really want to do as many as you can when you're trying to find the maximum potential. So add another keyword, sneaker organizer right um and then run it again search and then pick out the ones yeah 1274 you know 1255 so pick out the ones with the high ratings and get all the way up to the 25 now it's okay if you pick the same product again we'll dedupe it on the back it's no problem but you know as i add them now i can see okay i've added you know six or seven so keep going until you hit your 25 and then run your keyword analysis so that's just a trick there is make sure you, you're picking obviously the most relevant products, but the ones with really high um, customer reviews and ratings, pick those because they've been around for a while and they've got the best keywords. I hope that makes sense to you guys, but um, sorry, someone's asking me to maximize my screen. Sorry about that. Hopefully that's better and you guys can see all my numbers. Um, so, you know, this is really important when you do it. Now, I went ahead and did this, this session here. You can see I, I was bad because I only did 16 products and I should have done more, but because I've picked some of the higher rating ones in here, you know, I've already got 300 keywords. I've got like a, a decent amount of search volume and I have like almost half the product. So, you know, if you add all 25, you're gonna get way more keywords, way more search volume, total revenue that you can actually look at. So make sure you do that. Um, and we're gonna jump in and, and have a look at this in a, in a second. Um, but let's go over for, for, for one minute and just look at the Amazon page. It's always important to obviously look at the Amazon page and look at the product, right? This is it, sneaky display, I typed it in now. 
I don't know how it is internationally, but uh, this is a gas factor product that, you know, uh, you can see all the Air Jordans here. Americans love Air Jordans. They love their sneakers. Um, there's a whole bunch of, um, you know, accessory products for sneakers. Obviously, one of them being these display cases. So people put them there and they're, they're paid five, six hundred dollars for a pair of shoes. and They want to make sure it looks super cool. So they have these like floaties, you know, they have, uh, you know, stackable ones. They have a whole bunch of. So it's definitely a very high gas factor give a shit product um, that that uh, people love. So um, let's bring up the Chrome extension and just have a look at this real quick. So I brought it up. Um, now remember, this is for that, that keyword sneaker display, um, and you know search volume is, is is low. It's on the low side for that word. But if you type in shoe organizer or sneaker organizer, the, the score gets a lot higher. Um, and uh, let's just hit this over here. Oh, looks like mine. Sometimes when you uh, present, your screen freezes a little bit. Let me just uh, get that back. There we go. Um, so, you know, uh, it's got a, it looks like it's a pretty decent um, niche. You know, there's some products here that are, you know, this is the, the highest seller is the one with the number one. So he's well, not the highest seller, but the one who gets the most clicks and conversions is number one and number two. So these are probably some of the two that are the best. This is a display floater. Uh, this one over here is that is that rackable one. You can see he does fifty nine thousand. This guy does ten thousand. On average, they're doing about eighteen thousand monthly revenue. So you know, there could be a really good um, option here uh, in terms of the shoes that you could that you could come up with. And, you know, this guy's putting some likes. You can definitely differentiate this as the more you understand who the the uh, you know the customer is. So um, I just went in here. I picked. The, the two the top two and maybe the top three i'll just pick them and actually put them into the listing optimization we'll have a look at that in a second you can see here some air jordan guys so interesting product this is the one that, that i actually picked as, as just saying hey this is the one that um you know it's a sponsored one here but i, I thought this was kind of cool um you know because you know it's got a cool name i mean i think these guys have done a good job it's called Sapro. um they're all about the shoes you know they've really thought about the brand here um, you know, obviously they're stackable. You can put them together. Um, you know, the shoes fit in. I thought that the video is actually super cool. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but you know, it's a super cool, uh, super cool video. So you know, they, they've done a good job. Um, they've got the you know the title in here. So I'm just pretending this is my product, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, and you know, these are the other ones that I kind of pulled up and just you know put in here. And, and these are all my top competitors. So I want to make sure I'm looking at my top competitors. All right, so let's go back to um, Zonguru. Guys, if you have questions, please load them in. We're going to come back and we're going to look at them uh, in a few minutes. So, um, you know, we can absolutely come back and, and go through some questions. But here is the, the, the keywords on fire station I ran. Now, you know, we I have only 16 competitors. I, I can have more. 300 unique keywords. Total revenue of 12 million. So there's, there's plenty here. Um, and what's what's... Interesting about and, and amazing about keywords of fire is you have all of these different columns and different ways of looking at data. So you have the ZG score, which I can't uh, stress this enough. It's a really, really important score for you guys. And, and um, it's a lot of data points that go in there that Stefan and, and, and the developers have thought about in terms of demand, competition, sales, uh, um, you know, margins. Every uh, relevancy with, with the phrase that you put in there, um, they put a whole bunch of um, data behind this to, to come up with the score. And the more you use this, the more you're going to trust the score. And, and that's what I would uh, really stress here is, is trust the score. If it's a high score, it means it's very relevant and it's got really great sales and it's not as competitive, which which uh, which gives it uh, a great score. So even though, you know, for shoe containers is higher than shoe boxes, right? Because it's what it's it's more relevant and think about it. It's obviously way more relevant than shoe boxes. Um, even though the dollars from keyword is lower, it's still got a better score. So trust, learn to trust the score here. Um, you have top top twenty five competitors. So how of the top twenty five that were included in the listing, how many of them actually rank in the top twenty five positions for that keyword? So you have you can see how competitive it is. You can see how many you have to sit on a daily basis to actually um, you know uh, you know get to page one. Uh, you have your your reviews, you have price, and then you have all your competitors and how they rank for every single position up to 400. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Plus, you can actually filter data by, hey, give me everything on the, you know, on 
you know, uh, search volume of over 3000, you know, and under these reviews. So you can double up on, on keywords. Um, so you can double up on filters. There's a whole bunch of ways you can filter this data. And if this is new to you, we, we've done a lot of deep sessions on, on how you can look at the data. But it can be overwhelming, right? And, and this is the point that I'm getting to about, about how to actually um, optimize your, your listings and, and get the maximum keywords into your listing because you can, we've looked at ways of like, hey, separate out and save different views. There's a save button, a save button over here. So, you know, separate out your high volume keywords, your low volume keywords, you know, uh, put them into two different buckets, optimize for your high volume, then bring your longer tail keywords. It can get very overwhelming. And, and the, the the kind of light bulb went, went off for me when I was talking to Stefan today is like, he was like, you know, he loads everything. So you, if he's going to do a listing, he'll either load everything or he'll filter by, hey, give me the ZG score greater than or equal to 50, you know, and that might be the biggest filter that he actually does. And then he's got all these keywords, they're really, really strong. Um, and, and he's going to load that and look at it on the listing. So he trusts the score immensely. A seven-figure seller, he built this. He knows what goes into this. And, and he's like, hey, I don't really need to look at all these other numbers necessarily. I need to just make sure I've got the top 50, um, you know, any, any keywords over the ZG score of 50. And I'm going to make sure that those are in my listings because that's going to give me the maximum potential to get the most traffic and conversions on my listing. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if that is totally uh, working for you guys. Um, and, and just the, the main point there that filter or, or use everything, uh, based on the ZG score. And yes, you, you know, once you've optimized your listing, you can come back and look at these and be like, Hey, which is the main keyword that I should be targeting here, um, as my launch keywords, right? Because you want to choose ones that are probably less competitive. For example, here, I might, I might choose, um, you know, uh, sneaker storage is a good one, but I might choose, uh, you know, maybe stackable shoebox organizer you know it's got decent volume it's not as competitive as some of these so there's a couple there that i might look at and obviously the the launch number of 15 is a little bit lower so i might come back and look at this 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 data and pick up some of those really keywords that i want to beat my competitors on so you can come back and have a look at that you can see how everyone's ranking there's a whole bunch you can do there but if i'm optimizing my listing i want to make sure i get all the keywords in there so um you know basically i would filter by the top 50 or just use all the keywords and then I would go over into uh, my listing optimizer. So I'm going to go over here. Uh, let's go into listing optimizer. And here I have sneaker display, right? So I've gone in and created a session just for you guys. And I've added in, I'll show you right now, I've added in the competitors. Uh, someone let me know if, if you guys are following along. I haven't heard from anyone for a second. I just want to make sure that everyone can see my screen. Everything's working well. So let me know if you're following along and everything's good. All right. Um, okay. So I'm coming to my, my, my listing optimizer right now. Now you can add up to eight different competitors by just clicking on this button over here. So click on this. Uh, you can add by ASIN. You know, you can just type that in. You can add your own product. Obviously just add the ASIN. Uh, you copy it from any page, you know, just go over to one of these pages, copy an ASIN. And you can add it. Now, why, why is that important? It's important because you're comparing your listing to your top competitors and you can do it to the top eight competitors, right? Um, and you want to make sure that you're as optimized or better optimized than your, than your competition, right? That, that, that's obviously um, key because these guys are all ranked on page one in the best position. So my score should be better than theirs. Absolutely. And so, um, you know, this is the product. Remember that, that we chose. Um, let's just click on that. Uh, this is the product Sapro. A collection crates, their, their optimization scores 14,000, right? So your listing score is about average. Okay. Keep optimizing combined revenue of 4 million potential. They have their title. They have bullets. Um, they don't have anything really in their subject matters. Uh, they have some search term storages. You know, I have some in here. Interesting. Okay. So they have 150 of the 250 words. So they're not really well optimized in, in my opinion. Um, and. You know, of the keywords, I mean, they have plenty um, of work that they can do here. So that's that's the that, this is our listing, right? So let's look at the competitors. So click on this guy. You know, his score is eight thousand. This guy's score is ten thousand. You can see it over here. This guy's score is two thousand. Very low. It's a slightly different product though. And this guy over here is twenty-two thousand. He's the best, right? So this guy, um, 
stackable shoe organizer. Um, this guy's product is, is the best optimizer, 22,000. So he's in the top 15%. Great. Okay. Now, these are the, the listings we've added. Now, let's go over and look at the actual keywords, right? So we've added all the keywords. They're ranked from best, you know, uh, from, from decent uh, keyword, keywords on fire score, the ZG score, all the way down to worst. I've added all the keywords. And, and how I did that is I just went to, I just went to like add, import from, from, from uh, keywords on fire. And then I just looked for my save session and I went sneaky display organizer. I added that and I just loaded the keywords. So this has pulled in all those listings plus all the keywords from uh, that session that I ran. I haven't, I haven't doctored that keywords on fire session. It literally took me three, two minutes to just create the session and load the keywords. And now I start to look over here and I'm like, okay, this is the top score. So these are relevant. Uh, search volume is there. Does my competitor have that in their, um, in their listing or in their, in their, um, title, right? Title is a star. Check mark is in their listing. And then how many competitors have it? Now, right off the top here, I can see containers is not even included in, um, their title, right? So, um, this is a, this is a really important trick that I want to show you guys. As you can see over here, the keywords, it's got the word shoe, which is a lighter green and then a dark green, which is, um, this word over here. Now I'm going to show you a trick in a second, but what it's telling me is the word shoe is already in the listing, but the word containers isn't. So it's a really easy way to understand what keywords I just need to add, which are deduped. So I get that broad match um, in my listing. So containers is, is not anywhere in the listing and none of my competitors have it. That's crazy. It's one of the best scoring words. Absolutely. You know, display container. I mean, it makes sense. The word case is not in there. Probably case it is, but case isn't. Um, you know, containers, organizers, these are obviously plurals. Plurals you can add if you want. Um, they're not always necessary, but go in here, have a look at some of these keywords. Acrylic, yeah, you know, those are obviously for, for see-through. Draws is an interesting word. So there's a whole bunch of ones that you can pick out here to really add to your listing to help with the score. And, you know, if, if I went on to mine, I'll just go, oops, uh, what did I do? Sorry about that. Uh, if I go into mine right here, Okay, this is mine, remember? And I just start adding these words. Okay, containers. Let's go here. Uh, collection crates. I don't know why these guys have dashes in here. They shouldn't, but okay. Easy access storage containers. Uh, shoe box, maybe shoe, shoe box containers. I'm just going to add it here. You know, you want this to make sense. You don't want to overstuff it. But the idea here when you're adding these keywords is to make sure that you're adding, um, you see now it's added. Add, adding these keywords, um, you know, uh, from your title, which should have the top ones for sure, then your bullets, then your description, then your back end. So you're going to go from, from top to bottom and just add it. Now, that score is 14,000. It's already at 15,000, just from one, one word that I've added. It's broad match everywhere, right? And this, this score here, guys, by the way, is also an extremely complex algorithm that's based on relevancy, where you place the keywords, how does it compare to your competition? Is it your bullets, your title, um, your backend keywords? And they get certain weights depending on where it is and if it's exact or broad match. So, um, you know, you can really learn to trust the score. It doesn't really matter about the number, but you want to get up, you know, at your position. You want to get up uh, uh, higher and, and get into the top 10% or whatever. So, um, you know, case is a word that you want to add here. There's no, a case is not here. So let's go and say, um, you know, sneaker storage display case. Let's add the word case over here. So I'm just adding a few because I, you know, I have 200 words. I could, I could keep adding it at the top here for a second. Um, so I've added that. Now, the other thing is these words are in here, but they're not exact matched in the title, right? So, um, I can just go down here. Let's take in, uh, let's see, organizer. Let's see if they have organizer in here. Oh, they have organizer. That's, that's great. So, you know, I would go in here and then just really start to add some of the keywords as I scroll down here, maybe go down and find some more of these, uh, you know, like drawers is probably a good one. I would add draw maybe, um, you know, these extra storage. Uh, maybe I'll just add it into this listing here. Uh, let's see, right? Shoes you want. Uh, stackable design is good for down your shoe draw, shoe draw. Let's just add the word draw here. Uh, okay, so we're going we're gonna to keep just getting the, now the scores up to 17,000. So you're just adding a few of these keywords um, and just building on your listing and just going in and, and 
finding the right ones and seeing where they fit. Obviously, you want to make sure that they make sense um, and make sure you're getting all of these. I mean, look look how many keywords that don't actually have here. There's a whole bunch, right? Um, and some of these, you know, there's a whole, you, you just keep going and adding these. So um, that's an important way to do it. The other way you can do it is, uh, you know, and, and once you've gone through, so, so here's the steps, go through, pick out some of the keywords that you want to make sure are in your title, add them, right? Get the score going. Then go back and actually um, in your, in your, once you've gone through it, go in and, and go to your search terms. Now he's copied, you know, he, you can see in his search terms here, he's added a whole bunch of keywords he's already got in his listing. So these to me are useless. He's put 151, but he's not getting extra traffic. So I'll just delete that. Okay, let's see the score. See, the score didn't even go down and I, and I removed those search terms because he was, those are all deduped words that he, or duplicate words that he already had in his listing. So the point of the backend search terms is take all those keywords that you haven't used and add them into your search terms. So I would just go in here uh, and if I click on any of these, they're just going to start to add to the backend search terms. See how that added? I can just literally click on it. Acrylic. Draws. You know, I can just, I can do it like this and I can, you know, make sure they're relevant and just, you know, go and uh, add them. Like, okay, let's just look down. Maybe a bit further down is good. So let's go down. Transparent. Maybe bins is a great one. Rack. You know, so you can you can just really use that that idea of a, of a relevancy filter in your head. Stacking. I mean, that's that's a critical word. So I'm just adding. This. I'm really at twenty thousand. Now you can just go and and do this by each one. Um, you know, or or the other way to do it is just go right over here and just and just um, click on. Uh, I believe it is this. Oh, no, uh, sorry, it's this. Okay, so I've selected all the keywords right now. And then under this drop down here, I say add to the back and search terms. So I'm just going to hit and add all of these. Now you can see I've added 642 deduped keywords, which is over the 250. But if I just go ahead here, you know, I probably want to filter through this and look for the ones that are that are not great and, and remove them. But if I let me just go and you know, maybe I'll just uh, X this out. Let's see. So I'm still a little bit over. You know, maybe um Maybe I'll just go to my, you know, I'll go into my description here just for, for right now. Let's just add these. Uh, you know, and I'll, I'll just remove some of these, get to the 250 mark. So we know we're good. Okay, so we're under 250. Um, you know, I would probably take some of these keywords here and make sure it fits into my description. Uh, you know, here's what I need to use. And, you know, your listing is now really, really optimized for uh, the, you know, for all those keywords that I've added, right? And I've added my listing, I've added my back end, um, and I've really maximized the power. So now you can see just by doing that, now, I, you know, if I move some of these up into my title and maybe broad an exact match better in my title, I'm going to get the score up. But just by doing a little bit of that work, my score is now 27,000. It's in the top 9% of all listings for sneaky display. And most importantly, you know, the competitors, I'm beating them. 22,000, he's in the top 15, I'm beating him. You know, I'm beating him. You know, all of these guys, I've, I've just basically maximized my potential to get the most traffic and conversions. Now, obviously, most importantly, is it needs to all make sense. It needs to, um, you know, it needs to, uh, um, you know, not seem like it's keyword stuff. So, you know, that, that, that takes some finessing and you'll have to go back and do that. And most importantly, if you can get a few more of these top ones to really exact match uh, in your title, right? So this is a broad match in the title, but if you want to do an exact match in, in your title, like shoot containers, um, you know, we just go and I can just remove that. Let's see what happens with the score. 35,000, can you see? Because it's more important to have the, the exact match and the broad match up in your um, in your title because if the, the the keyword is in your title and you convert a sale based on that keyword, the algorithm will give you more juice because it's rating the keywords you have in your title is more important than your back end. So just by making that one small change and just making sure I've got a match over there, it's gone up to 35,000. Now let's go shoe boxes, right? Because it's, it's a better keyword. I mean, I can just do it right here. Oh, it's actually went down. Interesting. Maybe I think shoebox is probably stronger. So let's just do that back. Um, and then 
Let's see. You know, there'll be a few more keywords you can find here. Exact match, broad match, and you'll get the score. But this is top 4%. Um, you know, I, I know now comfortably that I am have the potential to get more traffic than any of my competitors. And then the last step I would do is probably filter, go back to my keywords if I filter by the strongest keywords here and make sure those are in my manual PPC campaign because now those keywords are matching what's in my listing. So they match, right? They're, there's a relevancy there. Amazon will show those 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 keywords in your PPC, your converter sale, it's in your your listing as well. So there's a relevancy, you get great, um, you know, algorithmic juice and uh, and your sales will just start to climb over time. And we just did the case setting, you can absolutely see that. So, um, you know, these are the kind of things you can do with uh, listing optimizer and keywords on fire to make sure your listing is extremely powerful. Um, and, you know, the most important thing is, you don't have to overstuff anything. You, you know, these, these are 300 unique keywords, but you don't have to overstuff the title with every single keyword. You can make sure it makes sense, your bullets, you know, just make sure they read really well. They have all the keywords, you know, that are deduped in here. You have them in your search term and your listing will be absolutely stronger than anyone of your competitors and you'll do, you'll do amazing. So um, that is the lesson for today. Um, I, hope, I hope that made sense to you guys. Um, and I hope what I try to portray here is it's, it lets the data and let the tool do the work for you. Don't overcomplicate in your head. And so the strategy again, remember guys, is to just go to keywords on fire, run your session for 25 top keywords to, for 25 products. Make sure you're picking the ones that have the high ratings to get the maximum amount of good quality keywords from those listings. And we add a whole bunch of other keywords to it. So make sure you do that first. And then, you know, you can filter by ZG score if you want over 50, or just keep all the keywords and go to your listing optimization uh, and bring in your top competitors as well as yourself. Um, and just start to um, add the keywords starting from your title to your bullets, to your description, to your back end. Uh, pick the ones that are highlighted, put them into the listing. Um, and over time, you're going to see your listing do fantastically well. And, uh, and uh, yeah, you can maximize your, your traffic. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let's jump over and look at some questions. If you have questions, I'm going to start at the top of work down. If you guys have any, please do let me know. Um, and I will answer them as we go. So uh, let's see. I've got um, Tini. Hi, John. Any changes made to the bullets or descriptions doesn't change the score. Uh, no, it absolutely does. So if I change anything over here, for example, I'll just take off this right now. Oh, that's weird. I see what uh, you know. Make sure you, you're removing words that are that are in the actual keywords, right? Because if the keyword isn't really ranked, it's not going to make a difference. So you've got to just take out the ones that actually are in the. So for example, if I had containers here. It's load. Okay, so containers now is in the listing. If I go ahead and actually, so the score's gone up to 22,000. If I go and remove this right now, you see the score goes down again. So you, if you remove words that aren't really relevant for the keywords and they don't really have any meaning for, um, you know, for the score because you know, they, they're like words like and or, or et cetera, et cetera. It's not going to change the score. It has to actually have some kind of relevancy to the keywords on the left-hand side. So as you remove or change the ones that are in here, it's going to update your, your score. So hopefully uh, that makes sense to you. Um, Josh, keywords on fire. What do the numbers underneath the competitors' pictures mean? All right, let's jump over there. All right, let's go into this listing. So Josh, what do the numbers under the competitors' pictures mean? These numbers, okay. So these, this, so in case you guys don't see this, go under table settings and it says competitors' positions. This is the one that will show you the left-hand side. So now you see, I can't see it. If I go here and go competitor positions, they'll come back. And the other one that's interesting is ZG launch. Those two are unchecked on default. So go ahead and add that if you're, if you're running your session. So these basically give you all those 
16 competitors, where they rank for that keyword up to position, uh, I think it's 400, right? So for example, if I'm really looking at this guy, I'm like, this guy does really well. Like I wanna see which keywords does he rank for? I can go and sort right here. And now I know that his number one keyword that he ranks for is neatly shoe organizer, right? That's one. The one, the second one he ranks for is sneaker organizers and storage. So he's doing pretty well on that. Sneaker shelf, he's doing pretty well, pretty well. You know, down the bottom here, these are the ones he's not doing that great for. And I can go, you know, next page, exit, or I can just go in here and, and basically I can go, hey, for this guy, which are the ones he doesn't rank for? And I can see there. The other way you could do that is if I go in here and I just go, uh, I believe it's over here, I can go, hey, show me all the keywords for Neaty that he is not ranked for. I can click right here. Bam. And you see all the keywords is not ranked for. These are all the ones he's not ranked for. And I can see where all the other competitors rank for. So if I'm like, this is my main competitor and I want to be like, what, what are the keywords that I can beat him on that he doesn't have? I can go here and go sneaker containers. Great. Shoe storage. He doesn't have shoe storage in his listing. Can you believe it? 816,000 potential dollars from keywords. He doesn't have it in his listings. I can beat him there. Shoe organizer. I can beat him there. You know, so. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can you can do this. I can also use it here and just go, hey, give me that ASIN, you know, and I can filter by ASIN. So, you know, there's plenty of ways you can go, hey, show me Waitrim, everything that he's ranked for, and show me um, and show me 12 pack, everything he's ranked for. So now these are all the keywords that they rank for, um, you know, uh, and and you know, I can look at those and see see which are the most important. So. There's definitely different ways you can use these. The other way to do it is, is well, the other use, usefulness of this right-hand side is, you know, when I'm actually looking at some of the top keywords, the CG score, I want to see, hey, if I target some of these, which are the ones that are less competitive? Now, it tells you right here, I can kind of see, okay, this guy's got six shoebox storage containers, six. Now, that, there's a couple here that rank really well, but there's a few on the, on the other side here that don't really rank as well, 104, 71, 9. So anything that's green, you know, they're or a dot means they're not ranked at all, right? So that's a pretty strong word right there. Shoebox storage containers, it still has some pretty decent key dollars from keywords, some good search volume. So I might want to target that as one of my real top keywords, um, you know, and, and, and you know, literally uh, copy this guy and then go back to my listing uh, over here, you know, and, Let's go into it. Sometimes it takes a second if I'm presenting, but you know, I would go in here and, and you know, let's just go in here and, um, you know, for example, just go and add that keyword and it's bumped my score up 32,000. So now this, this is one of the keywords I'm really targeting as my main keyword. So if I can convert for that and I have it in my PPC, I'm gonna do really well. So I'm really in the top 5% just adding that one keyword. So, you know, there's, there's plenty you guys could do here. So I hope that helps. Um, all right, Alba, John, I optimized my listing, but using some good keywords, my product was moved to an adult product and my campaign was suspended. So now I don't know what is the best way to proceed. All right, let's see, Alba, I optimized my listing by using some good keywords. Why was your product moved to an adult product? Because I just want to be clear on that, that it's got nothing to do with the listing optimization or score. That's going to be something that Amazon would have done on their end to recategorize you in, in, in a different category. So that's got nothing to do with your keywords and where you put them. Um, that I would contact set support and say, hey, um, why was I changed? You know, I, I want to be in this category. Um, but adult products are, are, are interesting. Um, they do incredibly well on, on Amazon. Um, the advertising part is, is the tough part. You can't really advertise for them, which is just tough. But um, if you shouldn't be in that category, contact set of support and get it moved for sure. Um, and I'm sorry you got suspended. I've, I've actually just recently been through a suspension myself and it's a, it's a, it's a road. So um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a training on that, I think in my next one. So I'm going to go through how to navigate suspensions because I've got a lot, a lot of information to tell you guys about. Uh, Tini, yeah, thank you, no problem. Joshua, sweet, no problem. Um, all right, are there any other questions, guys? I know uh, we're, we're running on time right now, but uh, I am here. Oh, I wanted to show you one other thing, guys. This is really, really 
important and and I, the, the the team is pleading with me to always tell you guys about it it's called voice of the customer you click on that you can add your own ideas or ways that you want the product to be improved so if i click on custom ideas i can actually go in here i can see other ideas that people have put in here i can rate it up or down and say hey yes i love that you know, so i can rate these or I can add my own new idea, submit an idea, or if there's a suggestion for improvements, I can go ahead and just put that in here, write it up and send it. So, um, you know, support all European markets, 10 ratings. By the way, this is this is sneak peek, this is coming up pretty soon. Um, you know, uh, review automator, make the review automator tool completely automatic, similar to email automator, some ratings over there. That's a, that's a little funky on, on Amazon's terms, but, um, you know, just just you can update it manually, but but anyway, this potentially something you can do. So there's ideas here that you can click on, upvote them, and what these actually done is they go into a process on the back end for us that actually um, that actually uh, you know get rated by our guys and then move into our develop developer roadmap. So they want to hear from you guys. They want to hear about all the cool ideas and uh, suggestions you have. Put them in here because they do get looked at, they do get valued and they get put into our roadmap. And then you will see um, some of these cool ideas come out uh, over time. So please jump in here, please use this, custom ideas, suggestions for improvements. Um, and uh, and you know, uh, we'll see, make sure that your guys' needs are met uh, with updates to our tools. So I hope that, uh, that helps you guys. Um, all right. Great guys, uh, hopefully, you guys can still see me, but um, hopefully you have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed that training. Uh, it was incredibly valuable for me um, when I went through this process with Stefan, our CTO, um, to just keep it simple, stupid, as the saying, keep it some KISS, um, and, and let the data and the tool drive your actions and your decisions um, and, and trust it, and, and you're going to uh, have an awesome listing that is going to perform better than anybody else in the space. And Amazon loves that. So if you can come out of doing a listing optimization by saying my listing is better than any other competitor out there, um, you know, with just a few simple changes, you're in a good position, whether you're launching or trying to drive more sales. So uh, enjoy guys, have a great weekend. Uh, and again, if you need us, hit us up in customer support or hit us up on, uh, you know, with, with ideas um, and, uh, and lots of lots of interesting stuff coming out over the next while. So stay tuned, guys. It's uh it's getting more and more powerful and and more interesting, and uh, we're we're hitting another level. So uh, I'm excited for the rest of this year and for uh, early next year. Uh, have a great weekend. Catch you guys later. Cheers.